guys. Good morning. Good morning. You guys, I am in the kitchen. And I'm just going to be doing a little bit of cleaning today. Um, and I've got a couple of, I guess, projects, you could say, that I need to finish up today. Um, it is Monday, September 12th. You guys know this is my birthday month. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Um, my birthday is on the 28th. But I keep it in my mind at all times. It's um, birthday month. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to have a little snack uh, for breakfast. I um, ate dinner. As you can see my mess in the back. I ate dinner qu quite early last night. And so that makes me pretty hungry. Um, the next morning I'm just like starved. So I'm going to have, let me show you guys what I'm having. And I couldn't believe when I saw this in the store. I love Chobani flips. And they have pumpkin. Uh oh, I opened it a little bit. They have pumpkin harvest crisp. And I just can't wait to t see what that's about. Uh, you guys know I love anything fall and anything that has pumpkin um, in the fall. Though, I don't like pumpkin pie. So, I don't know. I like pumpkin, but I don't like pumpkin pie. And I think it's just the, the spice that goes in the pumpkin pie that I'm not crazy about. Um, and some of the stuff that you buy that's um, pumpkin spice or something like that, it's it's more pumpkin taste than spice. But, like I said, I just don't, I just don't do pumpkin pie. But I do like pumpkin flavored things. So, if that makes sense. Um... So here's how it looks. I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. Put this in the trash. And I'll show you guys. Um this looks like this, and of course you need to stir it up and you know stir it around. And then some people you can just add the flip side into your yogurt. But that's base that's all it is. It's like a Greek yogurt, and they probably put some kind of pumpkin or some puree pumpkin in there and some pumpkin pie spice or something like that in there. So, yeah, so that's going to be my breakfast this morning. Guys, stay tuned. Okay, guys, it tastes like it's a, a light, a, a, a tiny hint of pumpkin pie spice in there, which I can do. And it has the graham cracker, so it tastes like a pumpkin pie with graham cracker crust. But, like a creamy pumpkin pie, if that makes sense. Um, it's pretty good. I'll, if they have more, I'll get more of these. I just picked up a couple of them because I didn't know if I would like them or not. I didn't know if it was going to be too pumpkin pie-ish for me or not. But, it's really good. I like it. Um, I like it.
microwave in the fridge. was enough room in here before I had so much water in here um, now that the water's gone down I could put the rest of the Gatorades um, this is where we keep all of our drinks or the ones that will fit let's put it that way because I did tell you that we have a, another drink it is teeny tiny I'm talking about like it should go in an efficiency apartment that's how tiny it is and it's just what they replaced you know, I remember telling you guys that my refrigerator was broken. Um, it was leaking water on the inside. And it um, just wasn't cooling like I thought it should. So, they replaced it. I'm, I'm leasing this home. They replaced it and they replaced it with a teeny tiny... It's new. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate it. It's new and everything. But it is teeny tiny. I can barely buy groceries. There it is. I can barely buy groceries um, for my refrigerator because I have to think about it first. If I go in the store, I have to think about, is this going to fit in the teeny tiny refrigerator? And most times, no. And so I have this little bitty refrigerator that's used for just like waters and juices and stuff like that. Thank you. 
But also, you guys, I'm going to put in a clip of last night's dinner. We had um, fried fish, fried shrimp. We had french fries in the air fryer. Um, I made a salad, and it was delicious, guys. I hadn't had good fried catfish in a while, so um, it was really good. All right, guys, so I finished the kitchen, um, got all the dishes out of the sink, um, got them washed. Um, I haven't put them away yet, but at least the kitchen is clean. Let me show you. So, yeah, here's the kitchen cleaned. And you guys, I got all of my fall kitchen stuff out. Everything's folly and I'm all happy and I'm all, I need some more dishwashing liquid. I'm all in the fall spirit. Um, I love fall. You guys know that's my favorite time of year. And so I just stay. I got this little thing yesterday at the Dollar General. I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for yet, but it is just so cute. I had to have it. I just know that I can find something to do with that. And I also found a matching mug. There was only one. So I didn't um, worry about trying to get another one. I didn't find but one. So I just got myself one. Yeah, so I didn't worry about getting the guys one because they they don't do coffee and stuff like I do. Um, we do hot chocolate like on Christmas. Um, like um, Everybody does it on, on Christmas Eve night we do hot chocolate and lots of different snacks and things like that but they're not coffee drinkers um just on the regular like i am so this is my tiered tray you guys i've showed you it before and it's just so cozy in here and so fall inspired i even have fall inspiration going on the tv today guys while i'm cleaning it is just i love it you guys those that colored leaf right there oh my god it is just my, oh my God, look at that foliage. I can't wait to go. I told Ty I wanted him to take me um, to do some things. Let me change the date on this. Today is the 12th. You see, I haven't changed it since the 8th. So let me change it real quick. Oh gosh, I didn't want to do that. Jeez. Those things are hard to keep in. So anyway, so we'll do one, two. Do the 12th, and then we'll try and get this back like I had it. There we go. September 12th. And I'm going to light a couple of my fall candles. I got this really cute orange. It's just a big um, lighter, but it's just really cute. I thought it was cute for lighting candles. I thought it would be just great for that. There's one lit. I'm not gonna light all of my candles, just 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 a few. I have this going today also, so I don't need a whole lot of candles lit. I think it's pumpkin spice today going in there. I have a few different fall fragrances, but I believe today is pumpkin spice. I hope you guys can see that. I didn't turn the light on right there. But I just love all the fall scents and all of the fall things. Um, my table, I just have just added some pumpkins to my normal regular decor so anyway I have a candle over here I want to light um it's kitchen spice which smells like pumpkin spice to me I need to probably trim that wick but it just smells so good in here guys
You guys, I don't know if you've noticed, but all this this video all the way through, this eye right here has just been kind of doing its own thing. I told you guys about this before. I do have, um, I think I am nearsighted. And these glasses are for reading. They're not for, I don't have a prescription for glasses otherwise, you know, but I do have what I call a wondering eye. And I've always had it, but it seems to me it's a little worse than it was. Um, the eye doctor, when I got these glasses, I didn't get them long ago. They, um, that was probably, hmm, maybe a couple of months ago. And I told him about it and he said that he didn't, it wasn't anything to really worry about. Uh, if it bothered me so bad that he gave me some list of doctors that take care of that thing, that sort of thing uh, with your eye. Um, he doesn't do that kind of thing. So he told me to go to another doctor. He gave me some a list of doctors' names. That, and it's basically dealing with the muscle in your eye that makes that happen. And so it's something I kind of want to look into. I mean, it doesn't bother me a whole, whole lot, but I just know that if I notice it on the videos, you guys notice it on the videos, and I just wanted to kind of mention it so you guys don't think I'm just like, <laughs> you know, trying to ignore it because it's definitely it's something that I see on my videos and I tell the doctor, the eye doctor, that when I got my eyes checked about it, you know, but like I said, he said it is just another kind of doctor that takes care of that, and I, and I need to, if, I, if it bothered me so much, if it bothered me too much, I need to go and have it checked out uh, with those doctors, so... I may do that. I mean, just just to see what what can be done. Um, but since I was a little girl, if I look at pictures and stuff of me, sometimes this eye kind of wanders. You know, so I just wanted to kind of mention that because I noticed it quite a bit on this video while making this video and while editing this video. So yeah, I'll look into it. Okay, guys, that's all for today. You guys. Thanks for joining me today, um, cleaning up around the house and just kind of getting ready for fall still. And you guys, I have on my last year's birthday t-shirt, um, where I go to buy liquor, like for parties or whatever, uh, it's a place called Amy's Liquor and it's in Oklahoma City. Um, they give away t-shirts for your birthday. So that day when I went in for my birthday, to buy things for my birth, my little birthday celebration. They had crown oil t-shirts for to give away for birthday. So it's it's very comfy. I love it. It's very soft, and that's why I wear it. You know, I don't drink crown oil every day, all day. So <laughs> don't think that it's just my birthday crown oil t-shirt, and that happened happens to be what I do drink when I do drink. I don't drink often, just occasionally on birthdays, holidays, you know, things like that. Um, but I'm not advertising for Crown Royal. It's just, just a disclosure. I'm not advertising for them. It's just a nice soft birthday t-shirt I got um, from the place I buy liquor when I have parties. Um, you guys, tomorrow I will be probably doing my front porch. I need to go and pick up a few things and I'll take you guys with me tomorrow and just pick up those things and then come back and finish my front porch. Um, in this video, you'll see what I got to do the front porch with, but there are just a few things I need to add to that. And I will do that tomorrow and I will take you guys with me and we'll have a lot of fun. And you guys, I'm so happy it's fall. Or at least this I call this fall. September, when it when it turn when it's September, it's fall for me. Um, it may be still a little warm outside, but you know, we get a taste here and there of um, what fall is gonna be like um, in the mornings and in the evenings here in Oklahoma. Um, it gets pretty cool in the mornings and in the evenings. So it's just, just a hint of what fall, what's to come. Um, so I just can't wait, you guys, for sweater weather. Okay, guys, that's all for today. You guys, thanks for joining me um, today in my kitchen and around the house. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please go down, hit the subscribe button. Also, hit your notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video and you won't miss any of my videos. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. 
And you guys, tomorrow I will be doing a porch um, video decorating my porch for fall. Um, in this video, you'll see some of the stuff that I got um, from Amazon to do that with. Um, I just need to pick up a few more things, and I'm going to take you guys with me tomorrow and pick up those things to finish my front porch and have it nice and fall festive for fall. So, yeah, guys, um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Over you, just another man.